As this ended up selling for $947 on auction plus shipping. And maybe it is a stife. I don't know. But look at its little nose. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. But it is mohair. It's got glass eyes. They think it's from the 1930s. And are you ready? Are you ready? Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, are you ready for 50 unexpected big money bolos? All right, so these are items in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. If you're not in it, you should definitely go down below and join. These are bolos that I post. So they are auctions, active auctions that I have found during my research that I post in the group for everyone to watch. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of guilty of posting it and I never go back and look to see what the item actually sold for. So we are gonna check out what these items actually sold for. All right, let's get started with some big money bolos. All right, there's 50 of them here, so we're gonna be moving fast. The first item are these vintage Miller Studio 1964 chalkware fish. Now, I will tell you that there are mermaids and other themed styles like this that are chalkware that go in the bathroom that can be big money. So definitely be on the lookout for these. This one's actually signed as seen. These sold for $122.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage My Little Pony G1 Cutosaurus Pony and Friends from 1988. It is rare and hard to find. Check it out. And let's see. I always like to look at what it says on the feet. It looks like it's dated and says Hasbro. So um, $103.38 for that one and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, all right, this one is just kind of crazy because it is an antique teddy bear. It's musical. It says Stife question mark and just did a video, a Vero video, items to not list on eBay. If you haven't seen that one, you should definitely go check it out. I have four parts, but somebody had mentioned to like, you can't say Coogie. I still think it's Coogie, but Coogie sweater like or coogie like or um what's the other one those different things where like this says stife like you can't say something is like something because it's considered i don't know what it's considered but ebay frowns upon it and they can pull your listing but they put stife question mark which i understand like i've put vintage question mark before because i'm just not sure but I'm not sure if Stife question mark is pushing any boundaries, but it doesn't seem to matter because this ended up selling for $947 on auction plus shipping. And maybe it is a Stife. I don't know. But look at its little nose. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. But it is mohair. It's got glass eyes. They think it's from the 1930s. And are you ready? Are you ready? Here it is, you guys. Very nice eBayer with fast transaction and nice items. It sold for $947 plus shipping. So a lot of times I get people saying that's money laundering. That didn't really sell for that. They, they That buyer did not pay. One way that you can confirm that a buyer paid is to go into the um, eBay store, into the feedback, and put into the search bar. If you don't know, eBay now has a search bar for feedback, which is fantastic. And you can just, I just typed in Teddy and it pulled it right up. And the person uh, that bought it, look how much feedback they have. So it must have been something really special. All right. So that's one way to check to see if an item fold, sold. It is not foolproof because a lot of times people just don't leave feedback at all. The next item is this 1998 vintage Tamagotchi Ocean US version teal pink tested and working. If you guys are not familiar with these little guys, 
They are highly collectible. I think it's somebody said it's like a little pet and you have to take care of it, but this looks like a submarine. So I'm not really sure if they're all different, but this one's dated 1997. I actually picked some of these up at a garage sale the other day and I was kind of excited. And then I noticed that they are like repops. They're like newer ones. And I'm like, uh, womp, womp. but that's okay. Um, I still should be able to make a profit. I got them really cheap. But anyway, this one sold for $630 plus shipping. And again, right here, if you look, they put, oh my goodness, the item is in such amazing condition and arrived so zippy fast. I cannot thank you enough for making my dream come true. The, this Tama or Tama for Tamagotchi is my holy grail that I've been looking for and being close and being close to so many times for years after many heartbreaks, you finally made it possible. Forever grateful and elated. So um, if you don't know, eBay now al allows a lot more characters and feedback, which is kind of cool when it's good. Um, but if they have lots of bad things to say, it's probably not so good. But I love that about eBay is it's a place for people to come that are searching for those rare and hard to find items. And this person was all about paying $630 for this little item. Crazy, right? The next item is this vintage coach city bag is what they're calling it. And these vintage coach bags, some of them can do really, really good. This one's green. I've never seen a green one, but really, really cool. Sold for $202 on auction plus shipping. The next item is this rare vintage. It's from 2000 putt putt purple car. Um, I was just talking about this in another video. When I first read this, I pronounced it humong or homogenous or no, no, that's how T auction for. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have a whole video on this. I can't remember how I pronounced it, but T auctions for you said homogenous. And I said something else and I'm like, oh my goodness, it's humongous. Um, just such a weird word. But anyway, I had a whole video on it. And this person that got this item watched the video where I talked about it. And they found this item after watching my video, which is super, super cool. And um, I don't even know anything about it. It was just a Bolo video that either somebody shared it or I was doing research on eBay. I'm, it may have been one of my plush Bolo videos where I research plush. But check out some of those category videos because you'll definitely learn a lot. I know I learn a lot when I put those videos together and it helps me and it helps you guys. So um, I'm happy to be able to get this information out there to help you guys learn. And I'm so glad that somebody that watches the channel found a big money bolo from watching my video. This one sold for $255 plus shipping. The next item is this new with tags, 1992 vintage polo Ralph Lauren martini bear sweater, um, hand knit red cashmere. If you do not know anything Ralph Lauren, could potentially be a bolo. The skiing jackets, the ones with the bears, a lot of times these are big money, you guys. So definitely look them up. This one's got the original tags and it's cashmere. This sold for $7,600. Is that crazy? That's crazy, right? It's almost unbelievable. But let me show you. It's legit right here amazing price or i'm sorry i was like amazing price amazing piece as described super fast shipping seven thousand six hundred dollars for a sweater can you believe it it's almost unbelievable okay the next item is these vintage mattel lucky locket kittles these are little kittles um and usually, I think this probably should have had L-I-D-D-L-E before Kittle in the title. Um, I'm honestly surprised this didn't go for more because they've got the original little lockets and all of these. I mean, this is a big lot. And it sold for $223.50 plus shipping. So let me know in the comments, how many of you think, oh, well, you know what? This does say Lucky Locket Kittle. So maybe... Um, Little Kittle wouldn't be right. I don't know. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? 
So if you guys uh, collected these or sell these, let me know if you think that went low. I feel like it went low. The next item, like they probably could have made more parting it out. Vintage 1960s Mattel Barbie Color Magic Pretty Wild Outfit, number 1777. Again, if you can figure out what the outfit number is, put that in the title. That is going to help you sell the item. People look for those numbers. Uh, vin vintage Barbie clothes from the 60s can go for crazy money. This looks to be like the complete outfit. Super snazzy with the orange matching shoes and hanger. Sold for $355 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage F-W, or I'm sorry, slash W, 1997 John Gal Galena or Galeno, I don't know, runway sheer black tattoo top. So this is just really interesting. Let me show you the tag here. Not a brand I've heard of. Made in Italy is usually a good uh, indicator that it could be something good. Not a whole lot of pictures really for an item that's going for so much, but sold for $690 plus shipping. And this seller had a bunch of high-end clothing in their store. So a little risque, that one. I mean... I would think you'd need a tank top under it. Huh. All right. The next item is this vintage swank outboard motor. I do believe these are for like little engine, like little boats. And uh, so like models. And this sold for $300 plus shipping. The next item is this rare vintage Pez dispenser. It is no feet and the Easter bunny. And Pez are typically bread and butter, but sometimes... Oh, did you see that? <laughs> no, you didn't see it. That just fell on my head. It was up there. Okay. Well, I'm glad it didn't hit my computer. So anyway, back, back to the video. We'll have to put that. Are we going to crop that out? Or are we going to keep it? We might just keep it. Um, what was I saying? Okay, most Pez are bread and butter, and some are big money. Some can go for three, four, five hundred dollars, even thousands. But you've got to know what to look for. Um, I feel like this person told me what they paid for this, but I cannot recall. But it sold for one hundred and sixty-eight dollars and fifty cents plus shipping. I think it was in one of my uh, featured Facebook members' videos, so you may see that in another video. I love this one. It is vintage John Deere chain lube. So it's an old uh, advertising. Uh, I don't know if it's aerosol or what it is, but anyway, sold for $155.50 plus shipping. This next item are these eight vintage knee hugger elves. And I probably would have parted these out, but made in Japan. Definitely vintage, super cute. The paint looks good. Sold for $93. There's eight of them here. And these are sort of like, you know, the red and green classic look. But I think that picture is so good. I, I'm surprised they didn't go for more. Some of these can go for big money. So definitely look them up. The next item is this vintage Mountain Men Main Motorcycle Club patch. Actually, it says patches. So they, oh, they've just got it. It looks like one patch, but it's actually, okay, here we go. Let's look at them. Really, really old patches. It looks like sold for $1,542. Wow. And the buyer paid shipping. This is a vintage control line. Uh, I don't, it's a plane. Is it a model? speed plane with McCoy 60 red head engine. I'm not sure what it is, if it actually flies or if it's just a model. It looks like it has a motor. Sold for $340 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage to now unsearched, untested jewelry lot, small flat rate box full. Okay. I saw this and I'm like, small flat rate box. You guys know that that is not very big. And then I saw all these tags and I'm like, this is so staged. Doesn't it seem like it's staged? But then I went over here 
and I looked at their feedback and look at this. $2,000, $426, But I noticed also that the feedback is the same on most of them. Like all of these are thanks again. So maybe this person just bought a whole bunch or they were a happy customer and they're going back. So I don't know, but their jewelry lots, look at this. I mean, thousands of dollars. This one went for 2,800. That's a different feedback. It just says, thanks. So maybe it's just like an estate company and maybe they really just put good stuff in there. I just can't even imagine where a small flat rate box of stuff for $2,000 is a good deal. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. Let's see, there's the store, Shannon, R-A-E-H. I don't know. It's definitely an interesting. Okay, the next item is this antique fruit jar lid. Here we go. This is just unbelievable. It's a fruit jar lid for a Mason's uh, shield union jar lid only embossed. Look at this. It's even got defects. It sold for $2,200. Are you kidding me right now? That is crazy. Would you even look twice at this? And if you look right here, well packaged as requested and arrived safely. Thank you. $2,200. Amazing. It's just, it's unbelievable. All right, the next item are these Pokemon booster box cards, new factory sealed, $13,600 from 1999. This is a vintage 1982 Cabbage Patch Kids doll, redhead, green eyes, rare. Um, another thing you can use is HTF that stands for hard to find. It seems like um, the redheads you know, not just in Cabbage Patch Kids, but toys in general are harder to find item and will typically sell for more. Uh, this one sold for $170.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Elgin Starburst clock, mid-century modern, and it sold for $225 and the buyer paid shipping. And this is a, looks like, is it battery operated maybe? Or is it wind up? I can't tell. Oh, what? I don't know. Like, what is this piece for? Huh. I don't know. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. I should know that. All right. This is a three-stripe trucker hat. It is vintage and it says AG Graphic concepts presents brand images line design your own cap so this is for probably the company that designs the hats but it's got the three stripes it's vintage the colors are a little wonky but i guess it does grab your attention right this sold for 760 dollars plus shipping it says hidden message okay let's see what the hidden message is oh the back's cool it's got like yeah that's a cool hat so on the inside, it says, gotcha, ju you just read our hidden message. Your message will have the same impact. That's a cool hat. I do like it. 760. I don't like it that much, but it's pretty cool. Stunning vintage Barbie number three. Okay, this one, I'm just, what is going on with the nose? So did somebody repaint her face? And they wanted it to look like she, like her nostril holes and they painted it. I mean, I have no idea what's going on. Let me know if you know in the comments, but this sold for $1,435 plus shipping. Here is another one and it's the same thing on the nose. It's so weird. And this one, um, $765, the one I just showed you, the first one. Feedback was left, this one right here. And it's got the issue with the nose also. But yeah, just crazy. I don't know. All right, the next item are these lot of vintage TMNT, which stands for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I didn't know that for a while. Um, action figures. And I guess one of these guys or maybe two of them, or I don't know, maybe they're all rare. 
But these sold for $620 plus shipping. I think somebody in my Facebook group said one of them is harder to find than the others. So not sure which one. The next item is this huge lot of vintage Barbie accessories. Box is over nine pounds. So I'm surprised this went for so much because there are two photos. And I mean, vintage can be like vintage from the 60s, which is a home run, or vintage from the 90s, which is not as much of a home run. $511.50 plus shipping on that one. And this is mine. Um, I shared this in the group because I thought that it was going to sell for more. And unfortunately, uh, I only got one bid and I sold it for $34.99. The reason I'm bringing this up is because these in general are a big money bolo. Uh, kitty kitty kittens, definitely be on the lookout. And I have mentioned these in my videos and in my Facebook group. And in my Facebook group, I've been seeing a lot of people that are finding these. So super excited for everyone that has found one. If you have found one of these because you saw it on a video or in the Facebook group, drop me a comment because I know that some of you have been finding them. I want to say I've seen like five to seven posts of people that have found these lately. All right, the ghost face scream mask. Uh, there are different generations. Gen one typically do the best. There are ways to identify which generation you have. Um, if you go to YouTube and search it, I, I think it's something to do with the shape of the nose. But look at this, you guys. This one has a hole. And it's not in perfect condition and it's still sold for $401. Um, these have been trending for quite a while and they are keeping their value. Uh, did the seller not show? So underneath the chin is where you can see what the brand is. This one says Fun World Easter Unlimited. Um, I have sold both, but the Fun World division, I think think go for more if I remember correctly, but they didn't even show the chin. That is so weird. Like that's what you need to see on the underside of the chin here. It should say Easter unlimited or fun world division, depending on which model it is. This one right here, vintage rare pink mask, fun world division. And I found this one when I was searching, um, feedback for this one. Look at this. Okay. So see, they showed it here. Fun world division. Those are the ones that are usually worth more. But this guy, I've never seen this one. I, I guess it's a scream mask. I don't know. But it sold for $810 plus shipping. So here is another mask to definitely be on the lookout for. And you can see right here that item was as described and fast shipping, $810. It's amazing, right? The next item is this antique amber mason jar. And actually a member of my Facebook group and a friend of mine sent me this auction. He's like, check this out. And I think it was like all over. There's a, a Facebook group that talks about mason jars. And I guess this was shared there. And he thought that this person was going to pull the listing because I guess this is worth a ton of money. Um, but it ended up selling for... $6,257, November 30th, 1858. Would you, would you look at it? Can you believe it? Now that is one expensive mason jar. Could you imagine finding that? Let's see what they started the auction at. They started the auction at, oh my goodness, $75. I wonder if they had any idea. I'm guessing they didn't. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. And looky here, arrived safely, well packaged as requested. So they did not cancel the order. They delivered the item and they sold it for $6,257. That is awesome. All right. This one kind of surprised me. Sometimes from time to time, I will post lots of uh, jewelry and different things that could potentially be good for a reseller. I do not research them or anything like that. I just um, post them and then let everybody know that they need to, you know, definitely do research before they buy it. 
But some of these I have found have been 925 that I personally found. I don't know. I can't speak for these. But there are a lot of really um, unique and different pieces in here. And religious items can do really, really well. I'm guessing maybe some of these are Catholic. Not really sure. I didn't really look over it too good. I'm looking over it more right now as we speak. But yeah, they've got some keywords in the title. But there's 230 of them here, and it only went for $132.50. So I think that was probably a good reseller lot. A lot of work, but definitely potential. All right, this is a rare antique WAP, WAPAK, W-A-P-A-K. I probably said that wrong. Indian head medallion cast iron waffle maker. And I sold one of these in the past. Mine did not sell for that much. So I either undersold it or the value has gone up for these. This one sold for $1,051 plus shipping. And it's a waffle maker. These are so cute. Vintage ceramic pink holding hands bunny rabbit figurines. 1960s made in Japan. Sold for $145.50 plus shipping. I always pick up these little figurines. I'm not a big fan of shipping uh, breakables, but small items like this that I can just throw some bubble wrap around and they're made in Japan, I will definitely scoop those up. Super cute. This is a um, anime shirt. I'm not even going to try to pronounce her name. Look at this. $898. There's your tag and the buyer paid shipping. This is a vintage 50s, 60s, ten, ten, Tencen, Tencian, I'm not sure, T-E-N-S-I-O-N, pole lamp, mid-century modern. This is really, really cool, uh, really cool piece. Um, I would probably keep that if I found it, but it sold for $605 plus shipping. The next item is another cabbage patch, and it says popcorn. Huh. Is that her hair, maybe? Is that popcorn-style hair? She is a bolo. Apparently, she must be hard to find because she sold for $540. Here's a little close-up of her face. And the buyer paid shipping on that one. The next item is this vintage Ideal Tiny Thumbelina doll with box and instructions. Sold for $812.74 plus shipping. Again, Advertising, original box, excellent condition, bolo. Next item is this antique Weller copper tone pottery frog lotus bowls. $425 for these. How many of you would have walked right past this? I would have walked right past it. Not, I, I don't even know if I would have turned it over and looked at the bottom. If I would have turned it over and looked at the bottom, I would have looked it up, but never would I have guessed that this was a $425 item? The next item is this rare vintage Willie Mays San Francisco Giants ticket stub from 1970. It sold for $6,801 uh, plus shipping. Check it out. Is that crazy or what? This vintage Polish bootleg Star Wars um, Baba. Fett, third generation, 1994 Kenner. So bootleg, I, you know, I asked the group, I'm like, what is bootleg? Does that mean like generic or a knockoff? But apparently some bootlegs are still worth big money. This sold for $735 plus shipping. Another question is, is it okay to sell bootleg items? Like, is it acceptable? Will you get in trouble for it? Let me know in the comments if anyone knows. This is a vintage, uh, I believe it's die cast. Yeah, a die cast tractor. Uh, it says Harris Ferguson 44, sold for $209.12 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this 15th century Spanish padlock, rare vintage antique lock. Some of these locks can go for big money. If you see the old ones, unique, different shapes. Uh, branded, definitely look them up. $152.50 on this, buyer paid shipping. Furbies, vintage Furbies. These are um, from 1999 and they've got a picture of each one individually. A lot of people are buying these and they are customizing them. 
These sold for $152.50 plus shipping. I do think that the seller probably could have gotten more listing these individually. This was probably a good buy for someone. And someone was probably really excited to find them at that price. The next item is this vintage 1950s Mountain Dew Soda one-way pop bottle six-pack carton. Sold for $621.11. It is a carton, you guys. Amazing. This is super cute. It's a vintage painted wooden apple with miniature table and tea set. Super cute. Uh, $127 plus shipping. It's unbranded, just a really cool item. And sometimes things don't have to be branded to go for big money. This is an extremely rare vintage Chuck E. Cheese mascot costume head. Looks like it sold for $1,900 plus shipping. But if you look here, let me see. I think this is the one that was relisted. Maybe th that was the relisted price. Okay. So I think it originally sold for like way more than that. And then it said that the item had been relisted. So I clicked on that and then it showed me the sold price the second time. So it definitely went for less this time at $1,900, which is still a lot. The next item that sold is this vintage Waltuck Clark dress. Um, looks like a Hawaiian dress. And here is the original tag that is attached on the inside. This sold for $182 plus shipping. The next item are these vintage lot of 15 Betsy Clark postalettes, most with seals plus one sticker sheet. So vintage uh, stationery can definitely be a bolo. Check it out. Sold for $154.50 plus shipping. The next item is this rare vintage Pepsi Cola hat. This is another one that went for crazy money and it did not get paid for. It was relisted and ended up selling for $137.50, which some of these go for a lot more than that. So I was surprised it went so, so low. And it's a Pepsi three stripe trucker hat. The next item are these salt and pepper shakers. Again, this probably would have been a great reseller lot. Um, some of these salt and pepper shakers can do really well. And there's some really cute ones in this lot. And this uh, buyer got all of these for $119.50. So pretty good deal. They should definitely make some money. It may be some long tail items. They do sometimes take a while to sell, but they should do pretty good. And it looks like buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Hot Topic exclusive Hello Kitty punk rock plush stuffed animals from 2004. This was um, purchased from auctions for you. She did um, a huge toy buyout and she offered up uh, toys at, at big toy boxes that uh, some of them she sold for like 500 and basically they were reseller lots. This one item sold for $108.49. I can't remember what she, um, how much her box was, but she has an unboxing over on her channel. It's a uh, Susie Q's jewelry, never ending jewelry party, I think is what it is. So you can check that out. And again, she purchased this from YouTube channel auctions for you. The next item is this vintage Kenner 1972 Blythe doll color eye or, or four eye colors, original dress. So her eyes change colors. Is that weird or what? I have never seen one of these, um, but I would like to find one because they sell for big money. This sold for $907.74 buyer paid shipping. All right, you guys, what do you think about that? Um, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to close out some of these tabs because I can't see my StreamYard tab to turn off the turn off the show. Oh, there it is. I think I found it. Nope. Where is it? It's so weird. There it is. All right, I found it. It is No Feet and the Easter Bunny. And Pez are typically bread and butter, but sometimes... Did you see that? <laughs> no, you didn't see it. That just fell on my head. All right, you guys, that was 50 big money 
unexpected bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. But I will tell you, there were a bunch that I did not know about. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check out some of these videos and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And thanks for watching.